Hi, I'm Judy, and welcome to Market Yourself Beautiful. Remember, you only have one chance to make a first impression. Now, on a previous show, I talked to you about how to shop online and how to find good deals, and that it didn't cost much to look nice. Well, I'm here today to talk to you about how to shop. If you're in town and you just want to shop or you're on vacation or whatever, now, I love to shop. Some women don't like to shop. To me, shopping for me is like a man hunting. It's all about finding that game. Now, when I shop, it's all about finding that good deal. And I'm gonna give you some tips today. I wrote them down, hopefully I won't forget anything, on how to find the best deals and how to shop and find what works for you. It's not a good deal if you can't wear it, if it doesn't fit, if it's not your size, or you don't even like the style. But there's some things that you might try if you could find them at a good price, right? Now, I learned this when my kids were little, that if I shopped at the end of each season, everything was marked down, and that's usually the best time to shop. Major holidays, especially in the summer, like they'll have the Labor Day sale or the Memorial Day sale, the 4th of July sale, of course, all of those are great. But as you get closer to the end of the season, they're really starting to clearance those things out. And they start to bring in the winter stuff. So that's the best time to go look. Or at the end of winter, like January, that's the best time to shop for next winter. I also realized that when my kids were little, they were pretty much true to size. So if they were two years old, they were wearing two T's. If they were three, three T's. So I always knew to go up for the next year. One year I lucked up for my boys and I found that Ocean Pacific, that OP brand, marked down to a dollar an item. Oh, I went berserk. I bought each one of them like 10 shorts and 10 shirts. So the next summer they were set and I spent little to no money on their outfits. You can't beat it. Well, that's pretty much true until they get to be teenagers and then that size thing gets blown completely out of the water. And pretty much by the time they get to be teenagers, they don't want you picking their clothes anyway. But I still use the same principle for myself. And I always told them there's some things that you're not gonna find on clearance, those things that you really, really want, spend the money and get them when you see them. Because you may not find them in your size at the end of the season. But for those things that are pretty much classic, it's really simple. Wait till the end of the year when they're marked down. Always start in the clearance section and work your way out. Because the best deals are gonna be there and you'll pretty much find everything you want unless there's something specific. And again, you pay full price. Now, I started at Old Navy because it's one of my favorite stores and I knew they'd have good deals. So I've got some tips for you and I'm gonna show you the things that I bought. I'm gonna begin with this dress. Regularly $39.99, I got it for $8.97. The good part is I can wear this in the winter as well. And that's the other tip I was gonna give you. Find things that'll transition through the seasons. We still have a few months left of warm weather so I can still wear the dress as is. Or in the winter, throw on a pair of leggings, boots, and a jacket. And it'll carry me all the way through until spring and summer again. And it's back to the sandals and the dress by itself. The good part is in Memphis, we don't have really hard winters so we don't have to worry about it getting too cold. So you pretty much go jackets and then a few days, you know, a coat, whatever, and you're good to go. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends at Old Navy for helping me. That's another tip. Always talk to the sales associates, the store managers. They'll give you tips on when they um, do their markdowns, when's the best time to come in, what deals they're offering. I even asked at checkout, were there any coupons available? And Sweet Casey, who's the assistant store manager at the Cordova store, was so helpful. I moved so slow in my texting and I was trying to Google the information and I couldn't get it to come up but I just handed her my phone. And do you know that young lady actually pulled up the website for me to check and see if they had any additional coupons? There weren't any, but I appreciated her help. She also told me if I ever needed it, I could call the store, ask for her, and she'd tell me what specials they were having. How's that for customer service? I'd also like to give a shout out to my friend Nylon. I figured out at the other stores that they had the little scanners for price checking, but Nylon, he was so sweet and so patient with me. I must have had over 30 items and he scanned every one of them for me as I shopped to check to see if the price was indeed what was on the ticket. That's another tip. Don't go by the price on the ticket. Always scan it. 
especially if it's in the clearance section. Sometimes people will move things that aren't on sale into the clearance section, but every now and then there'll be an item in the clearance section that has a price that's been marked down even lower. So it's good to check. And I'll show you some great deals that I got doing that because you never know unless you ask. But Nylon was very helpful. I went to three Old Navy stores all together. My favorite and the place where I got the best deals was the Cordova store. I also went out to Collierville and the associate manager out there whose name was Patrick was also very helpful. Appreciate you guys so much. Went to the Poplar store and wasn't as successful. Only got two items there. And tell the truth, that store is a lot busier and it just was a little more mm, difficult to navigate. But the other two were very um, picked up, very orderly, and they were very helpful just because they were able to help me and they had more time. But great deals at all three stores. So I'm going to show you those deals and then give you some more tips as we go along. And I'll try on the outfits and show you what I got. I have wanted a pair of gold pants for the longest. And these are just great. I love how they're ankle beaters and I can still wear them into the fall. These were regularly $39.99 and I got them for $10.47. Now this sweatshirt that is so soft and soft on the inside, this is an example of why you should always check the tag. It had a tag on it that didn't have a price. Well, I looked it up online. It's regularly $29.99 and guess what I paid? 97 cents. You can't beat it. And let me show you the versatility of these pants. I paired it now with this little shirt, regularly $26.99. I paid $6.99. And I also found it in the short sleeve version. So when I put my jean jacket on on top, I'm not as warm in the spring, but I don't think I'm gonna keep both. I'll probably take one back. I found the long sleeve version at another store, but it just goes to show how you can take it from season to season. This is really lightweight enough even to wear in the office during the summertime. So I love this because it'll take me a long way. As I said, everybody needs a jean jacket in their closet. It goes with everything. Already had this, but couldn't resist this little tee. It was $14.99 regularly. I got it for $2.97. Outfit number three. Or you can wear shorts for a more casual look. These were $24.99 regularly. I paid $5.99. Remember the white skirt that I showed you guys on another show? Well, here it is. Mixed with that same tee I just had on and a yellow sweater. I've been looking for one for the longest. Regularly $24.99 and I got this one for $7.99. This shirt is a perfect example of why you should always check the tags. It was regularly $34.99 and it was marked down to $9.99, but when I scanned it, it scanned at $7.97. You can't beat it. I've been wanting to add more pink to my wardrobe. Well, I couldn't resist at these prices. Regularly $24.99, I got it for $6.49. Here is another perfect example of why you always check those tags. Now this was in the clearance section, but it had the regular price. Hadn't been marked down at all. Regular price $32.99, but when I scanned it, 97 cents. Doesn't cost a lot to look good. Okay, I love these little wraparound shirts with the peplum waist. It kind of helps with my body shape. I don't have a Coke bottle body, more like a two liter. <laughs> so I don't have a waistline. And this helps me kind of look like I have a waistline. <laughs> Thank you, my assistant Hannah, who's over there laughing with me. But this little shirt was regularly $34.99. I got it for $6.44. Here's a perfect example of one of those items that I said is kind of trendy. Not so sure I would ever do it, but I wanted to try one. I've always wanted one. I love these little rompers. They just look so comfortable. The jury's still out on it for me though, whether I would wear it definitely without this jacket, probably not. It has cute little ruffles on the sleeve. 
but I'm not as comfortable. But guess how much I paid for it? $34.99, $1.47. For $1.47, I'll give it a go. I love it, pockets and all. It's a lot of fun. And here's another little romper, $34.99. I got it for $8.47. Okay, I'm loving this one. I pay, it was regularly $42.99. I paid $7.34. Too cute. Okay, here's my final item. These great pink pants. Regularly $29.99. Always check your tag because they were marked at $11.99, but when I rang them up, they were $7.99. You can't beat it. And look how well it goes with this striped shirt that you saw me wear earlier. All of these items can be mixed and matched to provide an unlimited amount of outfits. Where I was wearing that white pencil skirt, you can change that out with a pair of white jeans or a pair of white linen pants. Those are great staples to have in your closet as well. So they go from season to season and you can mix and match to have all kinds of fun. Now if I had bought all of these items at regular price, it would have come to $558.75. But all of those pieces totaled $103.67. For a little over $100, I have a multitude of outfits and a whole wardrobe to take me into several seasons. So remember, it doesn't cost a lot to look good. You can market yourself beautiful. I'm Judy, and I'd also like to thank my handy assistant and my lovely daughter, Hannah, who's always right there to help me out. Appreciate you, Hannah. And last time on the makeup segment, I mentioned my daughter, um, who did my makeup so beautifully. Both of my girls are great with makeup, and I didn't give her credit, and I'd like to. That's Haley Gray. But in addition to that, I'd like to thank my friends at Old Navy again, Casey, Nylon, and Patrick. Appreciate you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. So again, don't forget, market yourself beautiful.